it is. The creature. And pretty much the entire Hydra offensive. No doubt stealing more of the priceless and, did I mention, extremely powerful artifacts housed within the Sanctum? I don't think so. They're fortifying a position here. You're right. We're never gonna get close enough to get a symbiote sample. Oh, I wouldn't say never. Venom problem? No problem. Wow. You got some serious range on that old Spidey sense, kid. Or he got my text. Either way, I'm your guy. Come on, team. I got an idea. Anyone? Definitely should have practiced that more in the mirror. Sorry, kid. Can't risk a field trip on this one. Yeah, because you all have so much experience fighting Venom. Spider-Man's cunning has proven to far exceed his years. In battle, not the talking. Don't see any of us muscling in when the Mandarin's in town. <laughs> okay, fine. I get it. What's the plan, Ki Uh, Spider-Man? I'm not a control freak. If you have any good ideas on this mission, I'm all ears. My only idea is to not get killed. Oh, good one. We're totally in sync. Step through portal. Given their history together, I suppose it does make sense to trust Spider-Man on this plan of his. What's the worst that could happen? Actually, don't answer that. Happy to oblige. Banner. Yep, and there's crisscross. Crossbones. And Eddie, and a really big... What is that? Whatever it is, they brought an entire army to protect it. Uh-huh. Sorry, just need to make a last-second adjustment to the plan. Ah, uh, yes. The plan. What is it? Right. Okay, stay low. Wait for my signal. The time wasted. Suppressing gamma energy versus harnessing it. Mother sees what I have accomplished. What's up, Doc? Eat his brains. Signal! Signal! That was the signal! work. Well, it did that one time. Parker, report. Parker, status. Well, I am under a little pressure, but Eddie's right where I want it.
Complete. I take it we're on to plan B. Uh, I'd say it's probably more like plan 1.5. I'm betting those smaller bells vibrate at a similar frequency to their big brother. May not be perfect, but I'm trying my new get We have your several right here, little spy. Yep, walked right into that one. Engaging! This is still happening.
that. Try this on for size. You guys are really going to get hurt if you're not careful. to break my resolve. Some for the rest of us. Here we go. Ooh, I like it. We will crack your tiny. This is why I carry a shield. We've got hostile reinforcements here. Remember this place, Spider-Man. Remember what you did to us here before. We are done playing games. This place will be your doom. Well, he's moved on from wanting to eat my brain. Now he's just trying to bury me. That's progress, right? Just hit him with the bells, please. Maybe when I eat your brain, it will tell me where to find Spider-Man. Just like old times. Target confirmed. Yeah. A 
saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Mother tells us to hurry! Ton of bricks. Well, at least your aim is improving. How many times is that? Brace yourselves, people. Company's coming. For this moment, little spider, to squash you here, in this cursed place. When you are gone, we shall feast upon your new friend heroes. And then, <laughs> devour your precious Mary Jane. Hey, Eddie, I know that's just Lilith talking through you or whatever, but shut up already. to get on my bad side. Support units on the move. Your web is broken, little spider. Your trap has failed! You may be right. This symbiote sample is not worth your life, Spider-Man. We can find another way. Tell that to Aunt May, Mary Jane, Harry, Flash, Felicia, Otto, and about nine million other New Yorkers were trying to save. If getting that safe is trying to stop the from destroying this city, it's worth the risk. Just buy me some time. No pain! The light will carry you onward. Appreciate it. We cannot keep this up forever. But we can. Do you really think your peace?
something. you for this. Answer for this. Champion. We've got it. Let's do this. Fury's got two teams digging for Venom as we speak. He may want to add two or three more. Just saying. You dropped a church on him. I doubt he's going anywhere. Parker? Uh-oh. I have seen that look before. Congratulations. On a job well done. Aw, thanks everyone. I'll remember this moment forever. Which is probably how long it's gonna take me to pay the church's repair bill. Oh, not to worry. Thankfully, 
We have a billionaire in the house. Yeah, at least Stark's credit card is good for something. Oh, these kids. Real sweethearts. Good plan, Peter. Executed like a champ. Craziest plan I ever saw in my life. Still can't believe he pulled that off. Yes, and now we must make use of the sample he recovered. Um, we? All right, everyone. I know you all have a lot more important things to do than cheer little old me on. Let's go save the world. Oh, and if anyone happened to record any of this, feel free to send it my way. For training purposes, of course. Parker's debrief is going to be one for the ages. Just between you and me, I wasn't 100% sure that little plan would pay off out there. I mean, I was pretty sure, but I still had that little voice in the back of my head. If you screw this up, Venom's gonna be snacking on your skull! Even worse, I would've let you down, not to mention the others. I always knew you would succeed, Peter. Enjoyed the praise you received. Thanks. It's kinda nice to be the man of the hour. Even if it only lasts... Uh, an hour. Spent so long trying to keep Spider-Man and Peter Parker separate from each other, I never really had the chance to celebrate victories with... You know... Friends? Exactly. Thank you for that, Hunter. However you look at it, be glad we got the sample. Now we can get the dock home? Keep you less explodey? All around, a good day. We all owe you a thanks. I was nothing. Besides, helping the boss man test his top-secret prototype on a demonically-possessed alien-symbiote-human hybrid has got to look good to the folks at Stark Industries. Would love to get a shot to work for Tony one day. Just wish Spider-Man could submit a resume. But you are working with Tony, Peter. You are an integral member of the team. Whoa. Mind just... <clears throat> Peter? Nope. Mind's still blown. I just need to... Sit here and let it all sink in, Hunter. I'll, uh... I'll talk to you soon. Parker's plan was chaotic, but effective. I doubt even Lilith saw that one coming. Are you heading to the meeting? Yeah, I'll be there shortly. From what I've seen, you could drop five churches on Venom and he'd still keep coming. I doubt we've seen the last of him. Did you read today's book? Of course, but you'll get nothing out of me until the meeting. Hey, I knew Peter was gonna come through. Next time Parker comes up with a plan, I want to be the one to punch the giant bell. I knew Peter was going to come through. I bet you've heard nothing but ringing Venom's liberty. You'll start actually listening to us for a change. Yay! Still reading Wanda's grimoire, I see. Yeah? Why? You got an opinion about it? Why do you insist on torturing yourself this way? I can torture myself any way I want. Reading her grimoire will not bring her back, and you know that. I don't know anything for sure, Hunter, and neither do you. And for your information, I think I totally found something that might be able to help. According to her grimoire, it looks like Agatha was helping Wanda control her connection to chaos magic. And since chaos magic is a hell of a lot more powerful and ancient than Lilith, I'm thinking there's a way I can figure out how to use it to undo Lilith's hold on her. That is incredibly crafty of you, Nico. I am a crafty witch. Although, you don't think I'm being a tad reckless meddling with hardcore elder god magic and inventing dangerous new spells with it? I mean, Caretaker doesn't even think will and corruption can be removed. On the contrary, it would be reckless not to take a chance and try something new. Besides, I am curious to see what you come up with. 
<sighs> so am I. <sighs> Speaking of, I've got a lot to do to figure out this new ritual. You will not let us down. And if I do, you'll never know because we'll all be blown into itty bitty superhero pieces. <laughs> Kidding. I hope. Turns out you didn't need my help. Our allies have renewed faith in you. Good moves out there. Time for book club. You coming? Meet you there. After you. Wasn't the first time I've read The Art of War, but I prefer this translation. Looks like we're all here. Grab a seat and let's get started. I am ready. The Art of War is one of my favorite books, if not my favorite. Can anyone guess why? Because it's not just about fighting, it's about how to conduct yourself when in conflict with others. Carol gets it. For quite a while, all my interactions with people involve some form of conflict. Interesting. This book laid things out for me. Help me understand, you don't always smash yourself against a problem face first. You must understand your enemy before you can hope to defeat them. Hunter, you get this more than most. You understood Lilith, which led you to discover her weakness. With that came her defeat. I lost 300 years to understanding. I would not call that a success. I would. Your sacrifice, whatever it was, kept the world from plunging into darkness. My point here, until we know what game Lilith is playing, there's no way we can break the rules. That's the only way we win. So the favorite book of a half-vampire was written by Master Sun. I'm the Daywalker. Of course it is. Carol, what stood out for you? Mm, the chapter about flexibility in warfare. Yes, it presented distinct situations, but at its core, it promoted a philosophy of adaptability. This is a subtle but key difference from the Cree War manuals I know. Those manuals lay out how to overcome every possible contingency. Because Cree commanders always expect an answer, exceptions can flummox the ones who let the rules think for them. I have not met a Kree commander, but humans are just as capable of rigid thinking. Oh, of course. I think that's what the text is working against. The Art of War encourages fluidity of thought. The variations presented in the chapter on flexibility are examples, not rote technique. And that's how wars are lost. So I've been dying to know, what is Captain America's favorite part of this book? After this read? Everything he had to say about deception and warfare. Ooh, explain. Wait, what used to be your favorite? Discussions of leadership. There's a lot of good stuff in there. I've long since internalized all that worked for me and examined what didn't. But convincing your enemy that your greatest weakness is your most powerful strength. Or the opposite, that your strength is a vulnerability? Exactly. It struck me. Especially regarding our conflict with Lilith. So, what's our greatest strength? Lilith has no allies, just thralls. She is alone in this fight, but we are united. Are we? The greatest scientific mind I've known, sorry Tony, just defected to her side. What's to stop any of us from doing the same? I don't have an answer to the question I asked. But I plan to do what the art of war suggests. Learn her weakness. Adapt as the conflict evolves. Keep Lilith guessing. 
And above all, think. And that'll do it. Great. So what's our next book? I told Carol she could pick the next one. I decided on volume 32 of the Kavat Koth. The what now? It's a cross between a legal text, a spaceborne invasion defense manual, and one of those sagas that Thor seems to love. Okay, then. I promise it's not a heavy read. I thought it would be a good companion to the art of war. See you all next time. I didn't know what I was getting into when I signed up, but I'm glad we have book club. It was good to see the conclusions we each drew from the book. That's why I think we need to do this. A team that understands its disparate parts works better in concert. But don't quote me. Sun Tzu said it better. I'm nervous about my book. I don't know how much of it will translate. Not the language, the ideas. It is good to encounter new views. They help you better comprehend your own. You really connected with the art of war, huh? I think you'll like my choice. Give it a shot. That's all I ask. That went better than expected. I am looking forward to reading Carol's book. Same here. Feels like Book Club is pointing out an edge we've always had, but never knew to sharpen. That's all for now. You taking off or hanging out? Not just yet. Same. You calling it? That is it for me. Righteous. Again, Hunter, your fury. Hunter, let's catch up. Seems like you have got a lot on your mind. You could say that. Do you need to share? I always wanted to be good at my job, but now I think it's possible to be so good you're actually terrible. Explain. Okay, I really wanted to show off how I could get a sample of Venom symbiote, right? And you did. Right! Yay me! But in getting it, I left poor Eddie trapped under a heap of rubble. What you did saved lives. Do not forget that. You're right. I know logically I did the right thing. I came through for the team. But it still doesn't feel right. I know you feel pity for your friend, Eddie. But he is no longer a man. He is a monster. No, he was a man. And the symbiote was an alien. But Lilith turned them both into demons, and no one deserves that fate. Eddie Brock may be troubled, sure, we all are. I guess that's why I can't shake the feeling that there's more I could have done. Like digging him out of the rubble? No. I mean helping him turn his life around. The way real heroes are supposed to. Who knows? Maybe you will someday. <sighs> yeah, big emphasis on maybe. If only Tony or Strange invented some kind of time machine, I could go back and keep Eddie from going down this path. Stranger things have happened. Thanks for the chat, Hunter. I've got a lot to think about. If anyone needs me, I'll just be... here. Sighing... deeply. 
Time to take it to the next level. I guess I could show you a couple of things. Absolutely not. You go too far, Nico. Last time you tried to save Wanda, you almost got us all killed. I will not let you risk the safety of this Abbey again. Listen to yourself. I think I have a way of purifying Lilith's corruption, a way of bringing back both Wanda and Banner, and your response is to shut me down. I told you time and time again, there is no way of removing corruption. Just because you failed and never found a way of doing it doesn't mean I can't. What are you so afraid of? That I'll actually succeed? No, I'm afraid you're becoming just like Wanda. Oh, I see how it is. You always hated her, and now you're gonna turn that hate on to me too. That's not what I meant. Nico, wait. Let me explain. I don't need your explanation. I need you to stay out of my way. I took care of that for you. Bye. Yep, my glutes are still tight. This is exactly what I needed. A chance to quiet my cluttered mind and just... be. What thoughts clutter your mind, Doctor? Ever since the Sanctum was lost, I felt a bit adrift. Lost in a cosmic sea in which I've lost my ability to navigate. I've been giving a lot of thought to the direction my life will take if we survive your mother's apocalypse, but... Who am I if I'm not... Sorcerer Supreme? Sorcerer Supreme or not, you are still an Avenger. But is that all I am? All I want to be? Perhaps this is what you should meditate on. Yes, that's a bright idea. Thank you for still having faith in me even when I've lost faith in myself. You are proving to be a most unexpected friend. Lovecraft, Crowley, Transcendental Magic, Conquest Through Technology and Mysticism by Victor Von Doom. <laughs> Guessing this library doesn't carry the Hardy Boys. I am unfamiliar with their work. I brought you here, Hunter, so we might reconnect with your roots. To remind you of who you are, where you came from, and where you can go. And, more importantly, who I believe you can become. Okay, so where do you see me going, Steve? Not to sound like a self-help book, Hunter, but sometimes it's more about the journey than the destination. Keep striving to be the best version of the Hunter you can be. If you keep doing the work, nothing will be out of your reach. 
Except for that row of encyclopedias at the top of that bookshelf. I'm pretty sure you're gonna need a ladder for that. There's my... How is the sample analysis going? Oh, you mean the vial of demonic alien goo Peter took out of poor Eddie. That sample analysis? That is the one. In a word, gross. But a fascinating kind of gross. This symbiote exists as a whole at the molecular level. Every atom of it is a self-sustaining, slimy little entity in and of itself. Yet when the molecules bond, they undergo a change state that can only be described as something out of abstract expressionism, and I can see your eyes glazing over right now. I am sure this makes sense to you, but try to remember I am not from this time. I am still getting used to the idea of lights that turn on when you flip a switch. <laughs> right. I will slow down a bit, skip the science babble, and get right to the point. I think we can use Venom's slime sample as the basis of a suit. Like a Venom suit? No, not like Venom. No symbiosis. It would exist as an anti-symbiote, to protect you the next time you two meet. Think of it as a kind of armor. Strange and I are working on a design right now. Give me 24 hours, and I think you'll be very pleased. I could not have predicted this outcome, but it is intriguing. How's it going, boss? Initiating struggle. These should definitely give you an edge. If this thing behind me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt, I'm quitting. We're not... Good day, Hunter. Ready for more? We're getting somewhere. I'm here if you need me. Let me guess, you came out here to see if I'm okay. Are you okay, Nico? No, I won't be okay until we get Wanda back, but you already know that. I just wish Caretaker trusted me more. I mean, I'm not a kid, you know? I'm a ridiculously experienced witch with ridiculously amazing powers. She should be letting me use my talents to help the team, but instead all she does is doubt my ability to do anything. You have broken Caretaker's trust one too many times. 
Can you really fault her for not trusting you again? Well, I've lost trust in her too, okay? When Wanda fell, I was stupid and trusted her to do the right thing and at least try to get her back, but no. She took it as an opportunity to throw Wanda under the bus for Agatha's death. All I know is this. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get her back. And when Caretaker tries to stop you? She can get out of the way. Or get run over. Now excuse me, I've got a free Wanda spell to craft. You have any ideas on how to keep this team from unraveling? Because I'd love to hear them. I'm at my wit's end, Hunter. Nico is hell-bent on finding some spell in Wanda's grimoire to remove Lilith's hold on our... <sighs> ...unfortunate friends. And I can't seem to dissuade her from putting our lives in danger again. You would think she would have learned her lesson with that magic mirror trick she pulled, but now she's just doubling down on darkness. What do you think I should do about her? Because I am at a complete loss. She is acting out because she is still grieving the loss of Wanda. She needs to heal. She needs to know you care. If we survive Lilith's assault on this world, then there'll be plenty of time to talk about our feelings on a psychotherapist's couch. Until then, she must learn to cope, as we all must. Nico is a talented witch, no doubt, but if she persists on this trajectory, she will suffer the same fate as Wanda. Perhaps you can talk her down. She's more likely to listen to you than me. Thanks, Hunter. Careful now. Hunt. Nico is certainly as daring as Caretaker is cautious. Attempting to remove Lilith's corruption is not a magical endeavor for the faint of heart. Is it even possible to remove it? I'm not sure, actually. It's something I should do a little research on. But if it is, one thing is for sure. All magic has its price. The question is, are you willing to pay it to help get Wanda back? I am not so much concerned with what toll this magic could take on me, but on Nico. I do not want to see her fall. But you should be concerned with how this will affect you. I know I am. You are more vulnerable than you know. The crack in your collar may be hardly noticeable to the naked eye, but it's a significant crack in your energetic armor. A spiritual vulnerability that cannot be overlooked or understated. A vulnerability she will exploit. If you choose to defy Sarah and help Nico remove Lilith's hold on Wanda, it might be at your own peril. Be assured, Agatha. I have no intention of unnecessarily risking myself or anyone else in this abbey. You always protected others from the powers of darkness, even if it was your own mother. Something I loved about you when I was alive, and still love about you now that I'm gone. Whatever happens, Hunter, just remember to keep yourself intact. We can't take on Lilith without you.
one of the Hydra operatives in this area has been transmitting unusual signals back to their base of operations. If we can capture that agent, we might gain some insight into Hydra's plans. That's what we're after? Us with an opportunity. I bet you guys couldn't even beat the security guards in a parking garage. This one Lilith doesn't care about you. I hope you realize that in time. This is one of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight.
conjure up some stamina. The agent is making a break for it. Stop them! Try this. I know that wasn't your signature move. Now's your chance. Take them into custody before they can regain their bearings. walk off with their agents so easily. Stay alert. Sure, just keep throwing bodies at the problem. We need to take care of the rest of these thugs. Don't hold back. yourself. Just what his battle requires. It's remarkable how well Hydra manages to attract new recruits despite decades of ineptitude. Watch and learn. It's yours. We're taking casualties here. I do not fear you or your friends. make them happen for me. Search for wealth and power. <laughs> this should aid me in my fight.
building. You should bring a couple more. You'll need them. your time. You are like an ant to me. I'll step on you if I have to. My retaliation. This situation is grave.
Even the gods would not stand before us as arrogantly as you have. This should be good. Nothing personal. Okay, maybe a little personal. Looks like you've got the agent in custody. Better clear out before Hydra sends a search party. What is on your mind, Doctor? Shh. Just stand here with me a moment. I want to see if you can sense what I'm sensing. <sighs> yes, I can see you feel it too. The magical energies that flow through the ether into the sanctum grow stronger. I've been locked away from them for too long, but when Tony and I complete your armor, it will be only a matter of time before we retake the Sanctum. My mind races with nervous excitement at the thought of stepping back into my great cosmic library to stand in my power once again. You never lost your true power, Doctor. You stand in it now. That's kind of you to say, but since Venom evicted me from my home, it's no secret that I have felt diminished. I was so used to seeing the future, anticipation became a foreign sensation. Now that's all I feel. When I finally regain my sight into our many possible futures again, I'll finally be able to exhale. Until then, I must wait with bated breath, keeping faith that you will deliver a victory to us. I hope so. May the Eye of Agamotto watch over us all. I must confess, the loss of the Sanctum Sanctorum has deeply affected my focus. For the first time in quite a while, I feel a sense of mourning. Sentimental, I know. But I cannot shake the sense that life as I know it has changed for the worse. There must be a way to recover your home. And that is the only thought that keeps me going. Tell me, Hunter, if Lilith's forces captured the Abbey, if they prevented your return home, what would you do? Lilith does not belong in the Abbey. We kicked her out once. We would just do it again. A confident boast. But Lilith's power far eclipses your own. How could you possibly evict her? By relying on all of you. I see. Thank you, Hunter. You leave me with much to consider. I shall fondly await our next outing.
You have not set anything on fire today, have you? Here, child. We shall be reunited soon. I cannot help but feel excitement. We are standing in front of each other right now. Not here, but in the physical realm. You don't need to be coy. I know you are coming. To where exactly? The Sanctum Santorum. The prophecy advances. As much as it will please me to see you, I beg you not to stand in my way. I cannot guarantee your safety this time. The Sanctum is more than just a stronghold. It is Strange's home. He will never let it go. I once thought that about the Abbey, so many centuries ago. I have said all I can. It is out of my hands now. Actually, it seems to be all in your hands. I wish that were so. 
But you know the truth. He is closer than ever before. Who is? I would not dare say his name in this place. Still, he will bring us together after so long. Is it selfish of me to say that it's our reunion that matters most? We will see each other soon, Mother. Agatha. It's all right, child. You have been through so much. And your mother is calling you back to her. Trying to break anything that stands between you. Consider this barrier to be as unbreakable as my resolve to not follow in her footsteps. Yes, I believe that. Your ancestral powers are awakening and taking root. They would be pleased you are choosing the angels of your better nature. But the real question is, are you pleased? Is this the path you want to continue to walk? Yes, Agatha. This path pleases me. I am confident that the only thing that can defeat darkness is the blinding brilliance of light. Then shine it. Drown out your mother's shadow. I intend to. Just remember, whoever you choose to be, I accept you. On it if I can just get time. Uh, hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Right this way, Hunter. We've got the latest in symbiote fighting fashions. Hunter, what you've got there is the latest in custom alloy, handcrafted, magically protected personal protective gear. Yes, thanks to the symbiote sample young Mr. Parker recovered, we were able to isolate the alien energy signature that appeared to be causing you so much trouble. With this armor, you should now be able to get close enough to Venom to take him down. This time without, you know, exploding. It feels good. Now, just get me back to New York and I will handle the rest. It turns out Tony does occasionally make useful contributions. Got more coil for me? No problem. I'm here for Charlie to see me coil in the hallway. Third stick. What do you think? Definitely give you an edge. You have my undivided attention. In this reality, in the ah, yes, I remember this one. my time could be dedicated to study. I'd just as soon leave the fighting to the punchier types. Shh, 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 Tony, 
It's working. I'm happy to help, Hunter. The new outfit looks spectacular. Just really badass. Oh, thank you. It's amazing what a little teamwork can produce. Teamwork? Oh, you mean Stark and Strange. They finally got along enough to make this. I just hope it's enough to stop Venom. I do not know if it will be enough. And neither do Stark and Strange. The armor may be Faithbreaker. But I have faith it will work. Oh, a little wordplay. You should use that line on Tony. It would probably bring a tear to his eye. I could discuss this armor all day, but... Oh, I know. You've got a date with a symbiote. Don't let me stand in the way. Good luck out there. The new armor suits you. It looks pretty spectacular. Jealous? Incredibly. If you like it, I can see about having Strange and Stark make one for you as well. Those two? Pfft. They barely kept it together long enough to make this for you. I'm not gonna push my luck. Besides, I got my own style. What do you think about Hunter's armor? Looks slick, huh? Very slick. Venom won't know what hit him. Stark and Strange do good work. Rest easy, Spider-Man. I have dealt with the unknowable before. Yes, but have you ever worn clothes with their own appetite? I know symbiotic alien goop can seem like a cool idea, but take it from me. Not worth it one bit. The symbiote gets in your brain and makes you do things you'd never ordinarily do. I am no stranger to disembodied voices whispering their desires in my mind. And I was raised in a castle filled with ghosts, cursed grimoires, and unfettered cauldron access. The symbiote is a little more complicated than run-of-the-mill hauntings. When the goop gets hangry, it goes on a devouring spree, and its favorite snack is human beings. Midtown would be a sumptuous buffet. Have some faith in me, Peter Parker. I will not be swayed by the suit. Oh, I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about the wardrobe from outer space. I guess there's no other way, huh? Only this suit can penetrate the symbiote barrier around the Sanctum. Yeah, I hear that too. What sits worse with me? The Sanctum Sanctorum is wearing a symbiote. Alien-possessed architecture gives me the extra creeps. To stand against the forces seeking to fulfill the prophecy, we must conquer what terrors hold us from our duty. Fear holds us back. Fear makes us small. Eh, you can't fault a scientist for voicing an abundance of caution. I cannot. And your warning is heard, Spider-Man. I shall be alert and ready should the suit try and tempt me. Hey, that's all I needed to hear. Hunter, I hate to say something as cliché as, you got this. So I'll say something cheesier. I believe in you. Just be careful wearing that extraterrestrial tracksuit, Hunter. Last thing we want is for you to turn against us. Thank you for your concern, Spider-Man. Thanks for hearing me out, Hunter.
Hunter's expertise extends beyond the supernatural and metaphysical. Perhaps, Aunt, the Spider-Man is correct. This is not the first time we've used the weapons of the enemy to fight our enemy, and it will not be the last. But it is your decision, Hunter. You are the one wearing it. I have endured corrupting forces in the past. Whatever this symbiote's nature truly is, I shall not let its thoughts become mine. I expect nothing less from you, Hunter. I suppose I do have a single misgiving, Hunter. If the symbiote has any unusual reactions to your collar, well, keep an eye on it, and be sure to let me know as soon as possible. I feel like it goes without saying. If anything compromises the integrity of the collar, it is important, correct? That is correct. Your collar and your life are intrinsically linked. We would need to mitigate any damage to save your life. Hunter, you must take extreme caution in all actions. The threads binding our reality together are inextricably bound in surprising ways. Sometimes they are stitches, other times knots or tangles. Reckless action and needless risk are the threats we must be most aware of. Now, put on your alien suit and go free the Sanctum Sanctorum of Lilith's corruption. I do not believe Spider-Man's fears to be founded, but nothing is certain. However, if he is right, I fully expect Spider-Man to be annoying about it. So don't let that happen. Remember, if your collar reacts oddly to the symbiote, alert me immediately. You're looking stronger than ever, kiddo. When they aren't bickering, that is. Oh, they bickered. A lot. I think you look pretty good in that armor. 